This is a lesson in grade 7 mathematics, quarter 3, week 1. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to illustrate subsets of a line. You are watching Tutor Midge. Ano nga ba ang mga dot na ito? Ito ay tinatawag nating point. It is a location that has no size, no widths, no lengths, no depths. How are we going to name the points? So, gagamit tayo ng mga capital letters. So, let's take for example, ito ay A, B, C, at D na point. So, pag lalagay natin yung mga pangalan nila, just simply write capital letter A for point A. Capital letter B for point B. Capital letter C for point C. At capital letter D for point D. Ngayon, i-connect natin ang point A to point B. Ito ngayon ang tinatawag nating line segment. It is a special type of line where it has a beginning and an end. Take note. Meron siyang beginning, meron siyang end. So, how are we going to name a line segment? So, just simply type capital AB and then affix a bar above it. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong bar sa taas ng AB. Okay? Pa ano naman kung ganito? Now, we call this ray. This is a special type of line that has one end point and one side goes infinitely. Pag nakakita kayo ng araw, ibig sabihin, dire-diretso, dire-dire-dire-diretso yan. So, ibig sabihin, walang katapusan. Parang forever. Okay, paano naman natin ito uh, pangalanan? So, how are we going to name array? So, simply, copy the letters A, B. Take note, magkatabi. And then, affix array above it. Paano naman kung ganito? Okay. Ngayon, dalawang arrowhead na. So, how are we going to call this one? So, we call this now line. It is a straight path that extends indefinitely in two directions and has no thickness. How are we going to name this? So, pwede rin natin ilagay dyan small letter M. Okay, so paano natin pangalanan? Ilagay lang din natin yung capital letter AB. Ngayon, above it is a line. Take note, kapag line, meron siyang arrowhead sa magkabilang dulo. Or we can also name it as line M. Naintindihan mo na ba ang pinagkaiba ng line, line segment at ray? Sige, proceed tayo. Ito ay tinatawag na plane. Okay, ano nga ba ang plane? So, ang plane, ito yung flat surface with no thickness or boundary and it extends to all direction without an end. Okay, so pero dire 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 so para ka lang naka Nasa flat area. Now, take note. Lagay tayo ng at least, ibig sabihin, pinakamababa. Maglagay tayo ng tatlong points. Kasi ito yung nagde-define sa isang plane. At least three points. Kasi pag two points, natural, pag two points at pinagkabit natin yan, ang tawag lang sa kanya ay line. Line segment. Or, ray. Pero kapag katatlo na, 
magiging plane na to. Okay, so let us label it A, B, and C. So how are we going to name it? So just simply write plane A, B, C. Ngayon, Tandaan lamang na magkakatabi yung A, B, at C. And then you're affix their plane. Now, let's have a line. Paano naman kung sa line na ito, meron tayong tatlong points? So, let us label it A, point B, and point C. So, we call this collinear points. So, what are collinear points? These are points that all lie on the same line whether they are close together, far apart, form array, line segment, or a line. So, ibig sabihin, dahil magkakasama sila dyan sa iisang linya, collinear points sila. So, how do we name collinear points? So, just as simple as point A, point B, and point C are collinear points. What if meron kang point na wala doon sa linya? So, let us name this as point D. So, ngayon, let us declare point C and point D are non-collinear points. So let's have a plane. So, in this plane, let's have three points. So, lagay tayo ng point A, point B, at point C. So, anong tawag dito sa mga points na ito? So, if you will describe this, we will call it coplanar points. Ano nga ba ang coplanar points? So, these are points that lie on the same plane. Take note, on the same plane. Nandiyan lang sila. Sama-sama. So, how are we going to name it? So, in naming coplanar points, para ka lang din nag-name ng collinear points. So, we'll just put there point A, point B, and point C are coplanar points. Points. Now, what if meron kang isa pang plane? Sa plane na yon, lagay tayo ng isang point and name it point D. Now, if you will describe now the relationship of point B at point D, so we call them now non-coplanar points. Maliwanag ba? So, tandaan ha, kapag magkakasama sila sa isang plane, ibig sabihin, they are coplanar points. Kapag magkaiba ang plane, kung nasa saan sila, ibig sabihin, we call them non-coplanar points. Ngayon naman, paano kung May dalawa tayong line. Okay. Let's see. Itong line na to. At itong line na to. So, let's mark first uh, some points. So, meron tayong tatlong points. Let us name them A, point B, and point C. So, ang tawag ngayon dito sa lines na ito ay intersecting lines. They are coplanar lines that share one common point. So, paano nangyari yun? Take note. Coplanar sila kasi nasa isang plane sila. And then, nag-meet sila sa iisang point, which is point B. Okay? So, coplanar lines that share one common point. Ang tawag doon ay, Intersecting lines. Paano naman natin uh, papangalanan ng intersecting lines? 
So, may symbol tayong ginagamit. Ito yung baliktad na T. Okay? So, we have line AB intersect line BC. Okay? So, ganyan lang naman kadali. Dahil ito ay introduction pa lang naman sa ating geometry. Okay, sana naintindihan ninyo kung ano yung mga ibig sabihin ng mga linyang na ituro the subsets of a line which is ray, segment and then we have also the coplanar points, collinear points and now we have the intersecting lines. Like and subscribe to Tormed Happy Learning!